Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one awkward guy. Today we're going to be continuing our series on Hearts of Iron 4 as India with the Millennium Dawn modern day mod. In the last episode we had our invasion of the Philippines. We had some complications. Might have lost a huge portion of our army and then rebuilt it. You know, we don't talk about what happened there. We, we yeah, It was rough. Bad things. We lost a lot of troops. But now we look to the future. We have a justification currently preparing on Pakistan. It will be done on, I think, November 20th. And we've got world tension down to zero. And I decided to start a massive construction project while I was kind of just waiting for world tension to go down. We've built civilian factories, military factories, everywhere. We've used all of our land. I mean, I, we don't even have space for naval dockyards, but that's probably... I'm going to use pretty much all of the um, of the port from Pakistan here, or not the port, of their um, coast for more dockyards. That's what I plan to do, because personally, I don't really care about my navy. I know it will never be able to compete with NATO's navy, so I'm not that focused on it. But yeah, we're, we have quite a bit more production. We can look, I've added several more lines our production is really going to be going through the roof with this. It's really going to be getting a lot higher. We just need to keep bringing in steel because we never have enough steel. Anyway, let us unpause. I believe, yes, that's one, two. Let's check that actually. Oops. Eh, come on. Uh, yes, November 20th, 2018. I've also done a little bit of research again. Nothing all that special that you guys missed while I was waiting. And guys, keep letting me know if you think I'm cutting out too much, because again, I found the general consensus was people wanted me to cut stuff, but I don't know how much you want me to cut, so if you think I'm cutting too much, let me know, okay? Um, I won't be able to respond to it probably for another couple episodes, because I'm actually batch recording three episodes of India, and if I have time, three episodes of CSA. So I'm actually going to be batch recording, so I probably won't be able to respond to that for a few episodes, but please let me know if you think I'm cutting too much. And really all you missed was just building factories and selecting a few random research things that are already three, four years ahead because there's just nothing else to research. Alright though, here we go. Here we go. 17. 18. 19. Nope. 19. There we go. And 20. There we go. Okay. So now we go. Declare war. No allies to call. Send. India goes to war, 7% world tension. Activate the battle plan. Let us go. Let us go to war, men. And let's see, what is our tank reserve at the moment? 5.6 thousand, that's not bad at all. Let's um start justifying on Afghanistan as well, because they're probably going to be next. And then I'm thinking I might head up and not take Kazakhstan. I think I'll head up to here, but not quite to Kazakhstan. Or Kazakhstan, that's what I'm thinking. I want to prepare for that more, because I'm going to have a big board with Russia, and they're in... Or actually, I can't, because they're in the faction. They're in CSTL, aren't they? Oh, that was really quick. Oh, yeah, because your capital is right there. Um, Alright, well, and turn. There we go. We've taken it. That looks like it. Perfect. Perhaps we could also justify now and take these guys as well. I don't know, we'll take Afghanistan first, and then I think we will focus on Nepal, Bhutan, maybe even Sri Lanka. Are they? Are these guys guaranteed by anybody? You know what, they're all guaranteed by me, though, aren't they? You know what, they're guaranteed by me, so I'm not going to turn on them. I'll be friendly. Oh, and more and more factories. Um, perhaps I could build some planes now. I don't know. Naval bombers, do I have naval bombers? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I might want to build naval bombers at some point. I don't know what else to build, to be honest. I could just keep pumping into that. You know what? Let's get another one of these. Let's get more infantry equipment, I suppose. And how many do we have left to build? Ooh, quite a few still. Wow. Congo. I must import more steel. I'm pretty much taking... They only have 34 left. Is that what that means? They have 34 left to export? I'm importing all my steel from them. And we have four more factories, so oh my goodness. Um, tanks. Let's just load it, all the rest of these guys into tanks, because that's our biggest concern. Yeah, tanks. 
We will let this fill out before we request another order of steel. But I think we're going to have to go... Ooh, we might even need to build another row of tanks. You know what? We are going to have to build another row of tanks. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, let me head to production. And yeah, we're really going to be pumping out tanks here because... That's honestly the most useful thing I see we can build at the moment. Sorry, I've gotten another message here. And once all the factories are complete, we will worry about resources. Okay. So how long is this justification going to take? I'll be done the 20th of July, so that is a ways away. Well, you guys should probably head over and onto that border now. And I'll give you an offensive line like so. Come on. There we go. Perfect. They're all making their way over there. And then they'll start planning and so on. Let me check who is CSTO? Yeah, so we can't hit Kazakhstan without going to war with the Russians. Now that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I could go to war with the Russians. I could probably win. But, hmm. I don't know. Do I want to go to, like, what episode are we even on? It's not like we'd be going, whoa. Has NATO fallen apart? NATO has literally fallen apart. Well, there we go. well, I guess we have to go to war with the CSTO now. NATO's gone. What? That's odd. I guess after a while, they all just leave NATO. In that case, we can easily take Iran, and then we can push into Turkey, because I'm not going to be facing the whole army of NATO now. Okay, so you know what? After Afghanistan, we're going to go for Iran, and then Turkey, I think. Then perhaps we could push south, maybe gain some of the oil, but we already have enough, so I don't think that's a priority. But it would certainly give us access into Europe. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I, I did not expect all of NATO to just abandon each other. At all. Well. Um, I needed to do something. I need a naval dockyards. Ooh, there's not a lot of space here. Well, this one has a decent amount, at least. And there we go. That'll be adding, adding nine more naval dockyards. Perfect. Good. Very good. Mm, what now? Congo? Oh, come on, man. Alright, you know what? We're going to cut this down to like 28 factories. And I can now trade with Britain. Or France has more. I can actually now trade with them because they're not in NATO. And I'm not going to. If I go to war with one of them, I'm not going to war with all of them. So they're all options for trade now. Which is very good. Yes, yes. We will trade with the French. I know I wanted to wait until all these finish, but I hate seeing that they don't have their full production. I was I normally like to wait until all of the factories are done, but it's just like, no, I don't like it being red. It has to be producing, not half producing. Alright, um, can we get this quite yet, this infantry equipment? That's too, let's go for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we can go and begin... And though we are really running out of space to build things. Let's see. We're going to build... Because I feel like we're going to be trading a lot more now. Let's build some more civilian factories. Although we already have a lot. This one's about to finish. Slowly finishing those military factories as well. My goodness. This has been a really fun series. I'd say out of the two, I think I enjoy the CSA one more, but, <clears throat> excuse me again, uh, I don't know, I found this one really fun. But the CSA, I feel like that one's just more, like, different, I guess, non, non-classic almost, because it's such a, it's a very different concept, right, to play as the CSA in a modern mod. So, I find it's very interesting. But yeah, they all just left. Wow, I am honestly quite shocked. That really is 
weird to me. I didn't think they would, uh, I never thought they would do that. Like, why? <clears throat> why would they all just leave like that? I mean, what? They're just like, meh, no NATO. And now they're all completely alone with no allies. Like, knowing, knowing that I've become a warmonger and I'm just slowly taking over country by country... You'd think they'd be like, okay, guys, let's let's get together here. Let's go stop this guy. Instead, they're like, every man for himself. Now he can pick us off one by one. That's what they're doing. Because they just made it ten times easier to conquer Europe. What I'm going to do now is probably... How big is Russia's army? Ah, yes. Perfect. I was hoping it would be big. Because I know when you look at a country like the U.S. in this game, their army is like... My army is bigger than that, essentially. You know, country like a country like South Africa could actually fight. They'd lose, but they could they'd stand a chance against the U.S. Brazil would probably win against the U.S. Spain Spain could hold up their own. France would wreck them. Britain would wreck them. Germany would wreck them. Poland would wreck them. The United States. I don't know what happens, but they get so underpowered they just don't build divisions. Nearly any country in Europe could beat them. A few even in Africa could beat them. The Congo, South Africa could hold their own. Egypt could probably beat them. Maybe Lib... No, not Libya. Algeria could probably hold their own. But yeah, even some of the countries here in Africa could probably even hold their own. Ethiopia could probably beat them. Yeah, Angola could beat them. It's just crazy. I don't understand why they... Oh, turn off day-night cycle, please. I don't understand why they're always so weirdly underpowered never made sense to me i i must just be like something oh, we're trained with france the game doesn't want to build stuff or something i don't know because every other country that's what i don't get like every other country just builds insane numbers of troops for goodness sake look at hungary i always know well actually no no hungary's not that bad i was thinking when we did a russia series and they had like 300 divisions but no even hungary is building a decent army See how's Serbia doing, actually? I want to check that. Even, look at Serbia. 50 to 100 divisions. Romania, they're all building up like crazy. And then the U.S. kind of, their, their army pretty much stays the same from the beginning of the game. If anything, it gets smaller somehow. So, I've never really understood that. Alright, well, I think we might be heading to a time that I might cut out some of this now. When was this going to be done? This was going to be done the 20th of July. So we're still quite a ways away. Just trying to think if there's anything I need to talk about. Hmm. Well, I mean, all I really have to talk about is, again, if you guys think I'm cutting out too much, or if there's things that you want me to leave in, please let me know, because... Well, what I'm trying to do here is, I know not a lot of YouTubers that play Hearts of Iron do this. I think some. I've seen some do it, I think. But I know not a lot of YouTubers do it, so I am trying to do something a little bit different. Because in this game especially, you didn't so much run into this in the base game, or when you would play Hearts of Iron 3, Victoria 2, Europa. You didn't really run, in, run it, be into that problem with those games, because... Every 5-10 seconds, pretty much, you're being given a new event or something. You'd always be given something new to be reading and looking over and doing in any of those games. Or, in Hearts of Iron 3's case, once the war started, it, it kept going, and once it ended, it was over. You didn't continue after that, once you got to that big war. So there was no need to skip, but I just find in this game, there's just so much sitting around and not doing anything. It's like, oh, build stuff. I literally have no more space to build. I can't do anything politically. There's really not a point. Only can I guess change that. There we go. There's really nothing else to do. So I just find that's the problem in this game. There's just so much sitting around and waiting. So Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to cut this out. I'm going to write down the time here that I'm cutting out. And we will see you well I, I always say we i will see you guys when this war justification is finished okay lady, ladies and gentlemen we are now back the war justification will be done in three days i'm just going to quickly assign some of these factories i only have one factory now okay um let's put that maybe in uh i don't know artillery why not and oh congo's not meeting their shipment 
Okay. We'll have to draw that down. Draw some from the Brits. I'm going to possibly be going to war with the Russians, so I don't really want to be reliant on them. Uh, that's finished. Perhaps there's something in infantry. Mm, not really. There's really nothing left to do. Oof. We're just going to kind of let that sit for a bit, I guess. Um, in the meantime, though, we're going to also start justifying... What, oh, what was that sound now? We're going to start justifying on Iran, and I just heard a sound. I wonder if that was just my video finishing saving. Probably was. Let's see. It was! Okay. I'm going to go do that after this video, because I'm not going to go and do all that stuff in the middle of the video. Alright, well, <clears throat> we are almost ready now for... Ah, here we go. Here we go. Conquer. Move forward, men! Ooh, they're putting up a bit of a fight over here. Not seeing any tanks. It's looking like mostly infantry. They should surrender right now, actually. We're about to take Kabul. That might be enough to cause... Nope. They're going to want to make us push all the way over there, but our tanks are already heading that way. And that should be it. There we go. Conquer. End turn. Done. Wait, what? What? No! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I thought that would take all states, not just one. I clicked conquer. Ugh, man. Okay, well, you know what? That was a foolish mistake. So, you know what? We're just gonna go... Allow... What was it? Diplo? It was. Ah, there we go. We're just gonna... Just really quick, because... Oh, crap, that brought us up to 32%. That, uh... Okay, I'm, I, I swear, I know what I'm doing. No, I just thought... I always think Conquer will take everything. Not just, like, one thing. Yeah, we'll have to bring world tension down. We'll have to wait for that, I guess. But I have other things I'm going to be doing in the meantime. Uh, I always think that, though. Like, Conquer, it makes sense that it would take everything and not just the one territory. But I guess when you justify it like that, it's like, oh, well, you're conquering that one territory. All right, there we go. I'm selecting everything now. Done. That brings us to 31% world tension. Okay. Um... Ooh, that might be difficult for a war with Iran, then. We're gonna have to hope that this goes down a lot. By when? How long? 15th of March next year. Oh, it'll be way down by then. Yeah, it'll be way down. Alright, oh, we got more of these. Let's uh, keep throwing them into the tanks, sir, cement the air, why not? Artillery. Just wherever we can throw them, really. Because I'm not going to make another line of tanks. We have more than enough. Yeah, we finished all that. Um, can I also... I want maxed out infrastructure and everywhere. There we go. That should give us more space for nuclear reactors. There we go. And, or not naval dockyards, civilian factories, build more, even though we're not using them. We just don't need more factories, but I have nothing else to build, really. Um, alright, I suppose we could start building radar, might be smart. No, why not, let's, let's invest in a massive radar project. Radar for everywhere. Every territory shall have radar. We shall know everything. Radar is actually insanely overpowered. You can see every enemy unit. I love radar. There we go. And now we build it. Well, it'll be a good way to keep um, eyes on the Chinese while we're, they're not in our faction, because every time we end a war, they're just going to leave, so. I also have to watch it now, because now I have allowed Diplo on, so I'm going to have to make sure not to hit that declare war thing before justifying. 
Otherwise, I believe that will rise, bring world tension up a lot, so. There we go. Radar is building everywhere. Uh, these are stuff. No. Alright, after that infrastructure and everything, we are going to be building a lot of radar. Quite a lot of radar. And we have tons of research and nothing to research. Literally nothing at all. We could, I mean, we could throw it into these, but it's just kind of like, what's the point? <laughs> We're just going to wait until 2025, I guess. It's probably the best option. We are soon going to finish this, though. That's going to be interesting. And then we'll be getting a new, a uh, bunch of new weapons. Alright, make sure all of your troops are side on in this front line. And give them an offensive line to here. Let's edit that so it's up here. Okay. There we go. I find the game slowly getting much running like a lot slower. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but I notice it. It's running slower and slower because I assume the AI is just building so many divisions that the game can't handle it. All right, you guys are no longer needed to patrol here. Let's uh, join you guys up with the rest of the Navy. Over here. Another 42 ships to join with these 35. And some of these have some serious experience. They, a lot of these have been fighting convoys and everything for a long time. A lot need repairs, too. Because I think they're fighting Philippines Navy. They were fighting Indonesia's Navy. They're fighting a lot. Alright, bring you two together. And that way the one can repair and we can put their settings. So it's this. Yes, fire at will, repair priority high, sure, sure. Repair now, yes. You know what, no, don't repair now, because then you're going to be off of that. Or wait, no, never repair? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Fire at will, good. Alright, there we go. So that's all sorted out now. Now, now what can we do? Because I don't want to keep doing these cuts because they make these videos really long. So I'm trying, or really long for me to record. So I'm trying to find something so I don't need a cut because it's only a couple months more. Well, we don't even get to it in this episode, to be honest. Will we? When is it? Was it for July? March. Okay, so it's actually only a couple months away. All right, well, <clears throat> I guess we might as well just assign these to things. I mean, priority is going to be industry, as always. Just put it onto these things, and then you guys, I guess, will do all of this. And just whenever it's done, it's done. That's, I guess, what we'll do. <laughs> don't like that I'm doing that, but I've literally run out of things to research, so. I guess that's what we have to do. World Tension's heading down. We still have a few more months. I think it should be fine. We might need to take a little bit of a break afterwards, but I think all in all, it should be okay. Should be okay. This is at 26% now. It's always like a couple months, so we'll see where it is at by January. If it goes down to like 24, we'll be fine, but if it only goes down by one, we might have a problem. It just depends on how much it's going to go down by. Also, infrastructure. I almost forgot to do that. Coup in Ukraine. Oh. Who orchestrated that? Oh, I already built the infrastructure. I'm actually interested. The I've never seen the AI do that before. Where where is it? Oh, it probably just somebody overtook it. I'm confused. There's. Hmm. Well, you know what? For fun, why don't we go and stage a few coups just to pass the time? Let's see. Who can we do that with? Who has a small army? Mm, powerful, powerful. I kind of want to do it in Russia, but they'd probably be fine. They'd win. Easy. You know, why don't we do one in Canada? That would be awfully interesting. Let, let's try that. Let's, um... Let's see, what can we do? We should probably stage a coup. We'll do nationalist. Um, boost the nationalist party, and then stage a coup of nationalism. 
All right, so when is this coup gonna happen? This coup is gonna happen, ooh, that's a ways away. Uh, 2nd of February, 2021. You know, let's stage a few. We'll do one there. Let's maybe, who else could we be interesting to do? Ah, uh, their army's way too big. Needs to be like 100, around 100 divisions, I think. Uh, I already tried it in the, in, I think it was Sweden. No, Finland we tried it with. Hmm. Hmm, Macedonia might be interesting. What about, could one, succeed? one could probably succeed in Italy, and they won't get any NATO support now. So to stage a coup there as well. Perhaps it would be even interesting in Turkey, but their army is fairly powerful, so I doubt it would succeed. And you know what? Just because why not? Let's let's just go and do one in Russia. There we go. We have coup three coups currently staging now. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be really, really interesting. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Russia will be the last one to finish. So that one is going to be done... 23rd of February 2021 all right that's very good for us then hopefully they will succeed because I was told in a comment a while ago that the coup is bigger if you don't select a certain territory so I'm hoping it'll just create like a broad one across a lot of territory rather than uh, in one and these already got all the equipment they need which is good uh, what I assume they just required infantry equipment as always. But yeah. I just want to see how they're all how they'll all do, like if they'll be able to succeed or not. We need something to pass the time while we wait for our wars to justify. And again, I could edit, but I, I kinda actually just feel like recording some of the game right now as well. So Let's see, what, I, what, why do you guys have no supplies? Is the infrastructure... Oh, it's just starting to build now. Okay. So this was to be done next month, I believe. Was it not? Yep, the 15th of March. So about a little less than a month's time left. Look at that. We must prepare for the war. And eventually the coups as well. We could start justifying on another person, but I'm worried about world tension at the moment. Even now it worries me. It didn't go down as much as I thought it would. So, yeah. I think we're just going to have another waiting period that I'll probably just cut out um, after we finish with Iran. Frankly, though, at, at the same time, I question who's really going to be left to challenge me, though. I mean, look at look what remains of NATO. Iceland, Canada, United States, Hungary, Greece, Spain, Portugal. What really threat do they pose? I mean, the naval invasion, they'll never succeed. They'll land troops. I can deploy more. I, I, they, the second they land troops, I could build an army to counter them. That's how much supplies and manpower. Look at this. Oh, that's not good, though. That's... Probably because we just get... Ah, there we go. Balance out. Look at these reserves, though. We have 12.5 thousand tanks in reserve. Our reserves are insane. We can build as much as we want. And there we go. That is finished. Um, but that war will be saved for tomorrow. I know. I know. Leaving it on a cliffhanger. No, I'm sure we'll win, though. But, you know, gotta, gotta leave some kind of cliffhanger. Yeah, army won't be able to stop us. But, yeah. That war will take place in the next episode. And hopefully we'll also get to see all those coups I just put into place. We'll get to see how those turn out. Let's see, it was Russia... Was it Turkey? I think it was Turkey. No. Who's was the other one? I, I honestly can't remember. Was it Serb? It was Italy. Italy. Russia, Italy, and Canada. We'll see how those coups go in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.